Alright, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing now. right now? Yeah. Right now we're Our walking. Our future plans. <laughs> what? Our future plans. Right now, <laughs> we're walking back from a walk. We took a stroll here in Minneapolis. And um, we got some Chipotle, you know, when we weren't supposed to. Uh, Why? Cause I, so I got some fresh mozzarella back at home, and there's a lot of bugs right there. Don't there play with me. There's probably like 30 bugs all <laughs> forming a little air ball. Um, yeah, uh, I had some fresh mozzarella that I planned on making a, a pizza with. Mm. That's about to go bad, so it's not going to be fresh for much longer. Didn't you buy groceries yesterday? Yeah, we got groceries, so went to Chipotle, and it was, you know, it was a bad, bad choice. How's your bank account doing now? It's all right. <laughs> it's doing just fine. Didn't you also go to a movie yesterday? Yes. What did you go see? Um, well, here, let me, let me show you. Um, last night I saw a documentary feature <laughs> film. It's called Last Men in Aleppo. Got the ticket right here. This ticket cost me $5.00. And then I got another ticket last night, a parking ticket, which cost me another thirty-seven dollars. So uh, it's a the pretty total, expensive movie. Yeah, forty-two dollars to go see Last Men in Aleppo last night. What was it about? Um, basically, uh, it's about the the situation in Aleppo, Syria. And what I like, what I like about the movie is it's basically about rescue workers, kind of like here in the U.S. We have like you know firefighters stuff like that and, and they call themselves the white helmets right mm -hmm. and uh, they basically rescue people from from the bombings because Russia and, and I think a few other countries are like almost continuously bombing Aleppo um, and I think the reason as to why is because there are like um, like revolutionary revolution groups there and the government the Syrian government um, uh, does not like the people who stand against in the government and uh, so I think their leader has like a, a deal with Russia where they're trying to target the people who will you know stand up against the government and they just keep bombing Aleppo because they think that they're there but in reality the people that we see in the movie are just you know normal everyday people like us and uh, what I like about the movie is I know what I just what I just said kind of sounds a bit like propaganda. <laughs> what what I liked about the movie is that it really didn't take like a firm stance on either side of the issue. It just kind of showed what the problem was, and it just showed them rescuing people and and basically what these guys do from a day to day basis and why they do what they do. Was it more like a movie or a documentary? Well, it's a documentary. It's straight oh. up a documentary. There's no acting. It, they're just real people. Okay. Um, and I think that the movie. There are, there are some very graphic images. It's not necessarily for like the faint of heart. Like, for example, towards the beginning of the movie, um, there's like a building that's collapsed because it was bombed, and they're pulling children out of the rubble, and it gets pretty graphic. And like, you see them pulling a kid out, and you hear his skull like scrape against some of the concrete. Is that like actual as footage? Yeah, it's real. And he gets pulled out of the the concrete and you can see like his skull as he gets pulled out and you hear it and it, it's just like it, it the movie is good because it's just like really real it just shows these guys helping people and um and it just it's just like you know life you know my, mm -hmm. well, my complaint about the movie is that it is a little long and it's a little bit repetitive but i think they did that just to show you how often they have to worry about these sorts of things and then at some point in the movie, there was like a few days of peace where there was like a truce, but I don't think that lasted because they started getting bombed again. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a really emotional movie. It's pretty slow moving. It can be pretty intense. At the same time, it can be really sweet. And I think that it does a good job of just sort of informing people on one of the real situations that's happening in Syria. How long was it? It was about an hour and 50 minutes, do I want to say. Do you think a normal person would be able to just sit through it? Was it interesting enough to sit through? Yeah, I think it's an important movie. Um, it's something that I don't have to watch again. I feel like I got everything I needed to get from it from just watching it once. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd recommend the movie. It's, it's got emotional impact. 
it's informative, it's not super biased in any way that I could see, and, um... What's a Luke Mick rating? I'd probably give it a solid 4 out of 5. See, I don't watch a ton of documentaries, so... I don't even know if I've ever reviewed a documentary on my channel, to be honest. Um, Maybe not. I don't think I have. But, uh, I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, I think you could really get something out of it. I personally don't have to watch it a whole bunch of times. I might never watch it again. But, um, it's definitely a worthwhile and important film. And I would recommend it. Cool. So, yeah. Sounds good. Anything else? Um, no. Okay, say bye. Goodbye. <laughs>